Good morning and welcome to the WRDG broadcast day here at the World War II weekend. And we welcome all of our listeners uh, all around Berks County and beyond. Welcome to the Command Performance USA with the greatest entertainers in America as requested by you, the fighting men of the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. This weekly program is governed by your letters, old chiefs, and the War Department, Department of Redundancy with anything from Dawn O'Day to the Andrews Sisters. As this program is being performed at various bases throughout the United States, a master recording is made which will be shipped to Army and Air Force stations all over the world for you men overseas no matter how small your outfit. And speaking of small things and trivia in general, here's old General Trivia himself, your commanding officer of this command performance, your old sidekick and chief scout of the Wolf Patrol. Let's give a warm welcome to Bob Hope. Hey, everybody! G.I.s, G.I.s, hey, everybody! This is Bob, that was in my case of Rheingold, that fell out of the Bombay Hope, Reminding all you soldiers out there to brush your teeth with pepsodent, using plenty of traction, and your teeth will never be missing in action. Well, I'm really happy to be part of this USO show this afternoon. We've been touring all around the world, and as you know, the military is a very important part of my family. In fact, my aunt, well, my aunt, she married a second lieutenant, and that was after the first one ran away. And I've become, an, uh, I've become so associated with the USO now all around the world and all the GIs, soldiers, sailors, Marines, they started calling me USO Bob. Hey, USO Bob, how you doing, USO Bob? Except I understand the Japanese and the Germans, why they shortened that just a little bit, and they just call me USOB. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, uh, I've been doing a lot of work in Hollywood, and uh, as you know, I make my films there. I was walking down the streets, Hollywood Boulevard, with my good friend, actress Ann Shirley, one day, and we came to an electronics store, and in the electronics store, there was a radio, a big radio, just kind of like that one right there, for sale in the window, except it was only a dollar, and had a big sign on it that said, this radio, only one dollar on sale. The volume is stuck on maximum, maximum volume. And I said to Ann, I can't turn that down. And then we came to, <laughs> we came, we came to another window, and uh, Ann saw the beautiful dress in the window of the store, and Ann wanted to try that dress on. So we go into the shop, she says to the shopkeeper, excuse me, sir, can I try on that dress in the window? Shopkeeper says, of course, but wouldn't you prefer the privacy of the dressing room? Thank you very much. You know, we have never played before this many empty chairs before ever in our lives. Well, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, uh, I've been carrying this golf club all around the world, as you know, carrying this golf club all around the world, doing all of our tours, and we were in the China Burma India Theater, and all the GIs there in, uh, in India gave me this beautiful teak wood head for my golf club. Then we went to Iwo Jima, did a couple of shows in Iwo Jima for the Marines. And the Marines gave me this beautiful snakeskin handle wrap for my club. And then we came back to the States and we did a couple of shows for Congress. You all know Congress, right? Well, they gave me the shaft. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring to the stage right now the lovely and talented Dawn O'Day. And she just starred with me in my latest Hollywood picture, soon to be released in theaters near you. The picture is called The Road to Reading. We hope you check it out when it comes out. And uh, Dawn, Dawn, hello Dawn. Ooh, hey Bob, hi fellas. Hey Dawn, how are you doing? Well, I want to congra congratulate Dawn because as you know, the song that she sang in our show is a really big hit in our new picture. So Dawn, it's really nice to see a youngster coming up. It's nice to see an oldster holding his own. Well, thank... Is that in the script? Yeah. Well, 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 as you know, Dawn is from the East Coast, from New York, and it was her first time in Hollywood. So tell me, Dawn, your first time in Hollywood, what did you think of the town? Well, I was looking forward to meeting a really big star. A really big star? Well, you're lucky you ran into me. Why? Do you know any? Could you introduce me to someone like Frank Sinatra, or Bing Crosby, or Joe Torre? Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby. Well, let me tell you something, Dawn. I did a lot of road pictures with Bing Crosby, and what would those pictures be without me? Academy Award winning. <laughs> oh. 
Wow Academy Award winning. Well, let me tell you something, Don. The way that I see it, the Academy of Arts and Sciences, they only give out uh, Academy Awards to sweeping Western pictures, or perhaps over-sentimental epic musicals, or perhaps overwrought uh, dramatical pictures. While I, on the other hand, you know, do comedies. Oh, is that what you call it? <laughs> your jokes, Bob, they're something. Tell me, do you write your own material? Um, why? Do you like my jokes? No, not particularly. Well, then Bing Crosby writes my material. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> but I got it. <laughs> Go ahead, dear. <laughs> well, if that's the case, I have a little joke for you then. Maybe All if right. you like it and these people like it, you could write it into your script and put it in your next show. Okay, let me hear it. It gets enough laughs. Uh, what is the difference between a hippo and a zippo? The difference between a hippo and a zippo? Yeah. Gee, I don't know, Dawn. What is the difference between a hippo and a zippo? Well, a hippo is really, really heavy. A zippo, on the other hand, it's just a little lighter. <laughs> Thanks, Dawn. I like that one. I'm going to put that in my back pocket and use it for our yeah, next show. Right here. It's right here. Well, thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you didn't come all this way to hear this lovely voice banter back and forth with the old bobster here. I bet you you'd like to hear this one lovely lady sing you some songs. How about that? So here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a great big hand to the lovely Dawn O'Day as she answers a couple of requests for some of those new tunes that she's been singing. And how about that Chattanooga number, dear? Sounds great. Right on track 29 Boy, you can give me a shine I can afford to board the Chattanooga choo-choo I've got my fare And just a trifle to spare You leave the Pennsylvania station about a quarter to four Read a magazine and then you're in Baltimore Dinner in the diner, nothing would be finer than to have your ham and eggs in Carolina. When you hear the whistle blowing eight to the bar, then you know the tendency is not very far. Shovel all the coaling, gotta keep it rolling. Woo woo, Chattanooga, there you are. There's gonna be a certain party at the station in Satin and Lane. I used to call Funny Faye. She's gonna cry until I tell her that I'll never roll. So Chattanooga Choo Choo, won't you Choo Choo me home? Hey there, boy. Yes, 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 I'm going back to Tennessee. Hey there, boy. Yes, 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 I want a one-way ticket on the Chattanooga choo-choo train. A part of me was woo-woo is at the Chattanooga choo-choo-choo-choo. Right on track 29. Nine, baby, oh yeah. Boy, you can give me a shine. Oh, give me a really good shine. Once more 
you. Gentlemen, the lovely and talented Dawn O'Day, let's give you a great big hand. I have a quick announcement for you. While I was backstage, I received this very important telegram from a friend of mine in Hollywood. I'd like to read it to you. There's so many GIs out in the field. Maybe somebody can help. It reads, please help. Stop. I bought an eight-week-old female German Shepherd that we named Sherry as a surprise for my wife. Stop. But it turns out my wife is allergic to dogs, so now we are looking to find her a new home. Stop. She is 39 years old, a beautiful, caring young woman who is a great cook, keeps a good house, and also knows how to drive. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have time for one or two, one or two more tunes. And we're going to turn the microphone over once more, once more, one more time. Big round of applause, please, for the lovely Dawn O'Day.
give a great big round of applause for the lovely Don O'Day. I want to thank you all very much for allowing us to entertain you this morning. We're about to turn the stage right over to the WRDG uh, radio players in just a couple of seconds. My name is Paul Martin, and I'm performing as Bob Hope. My lovely daughter, Alyssa Martin, performing as Dawn O'Day. We want to thank you all very, very much. And I can assure you she, that she gets her voice and her looks from my wife. Guaranteed. <laughs> so thank you all again very, very much. We're going to turn it over to the spirit of the radio players. 